All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Recha Kudash. Giving double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of the Great Millstone that do teach and rule well to this day. Peace and salutations to the Overlect, Overlect the Overlect number one third, start 144,000 on down. All the sincere Akim, Wak Waf that believe in Yahweh Bahasham Shani the last day, starting with the men. All right, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, Bashim Machak, Rudaj, Barak, Thumb, to use the quantum, Wakim Wakwaf, and the elders, your brothers, your sisters, the whole elect out their labor and keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence to make your calling and election short, of course, keeping faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and his beloved Son, our Lord, and our Savior, and our King, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, in his last days and these perilous times that we are living in. This brother Peshai, Ban Yahshua, Allah, let's be a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai on how the Israelite men. Be back in their rightful position as kings and priests. All right, the Israelite men will be back in their rightful position as kings and priests, man. Being joint heirs with the Mashiach Yahweh, our Lord and our Savior, Lord willing, we be of that number. All right, we can be put back on top. Understand that because the Israelite men will consist of you so called Negroes, Haitians, West Indians. Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Guatemala, Panamanians, North American Indians, Seminole Indians, Mexicans, Cubans, Guatemala, Panamanians, Argentina, the Chileans, all right, uh, if I'm missing one, Salakia, all right, the so-called blacks, Latin Americans, you are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, all right, and for a long duration of time, going back to the to 1490s, all right, on down to the 1600s, until today, we have been oppressed all right, we have been beaten down for so long. All right, robbed from our identity. All right, uh, our lands. Okay, um, we've been you know placed under these curses because of our sins. All right, but guess what? The heavenly Father Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is dealing with a remnant in these last days. All right, scripture say what? If it wasn't for that remnant, we be, we we have been likened to Sodom and Gomorrah, being totally destroyed. And most High is dealing with a remnant who's returning back to him in these last days, and through that remnant. All right, the Israelite men be placed back on top. The remnant men, all right, the elect men of the nation Israel be enjoying as we all shot. All right, so um, our women will be back in order. Our children will be back in order. Our nation will be back in order, man. All right, under that governing body, the house of David, with Yahweh Shai sitting on the throne of David. All right, so we fell going all the way back to Adam. All right, Adam was the first man, all right, to fall. Hence the Adamites, all right, which was the sons of God. All right, we fell as a nation listening to um, our woman, Adam listening to Eve. Eve getting beguiled by the serpent. All right. But now we make in matter of fact, I'll start with this precept. In the book of First Corinthians, time to get a few, you know, spirit was on me. I watched a few lessons. I'm just going to roll through the spirit. First Corinthians 15 and verse uh, 40. Right. Let me see. 45. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Howbeit that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, being Adam. And after that which is spiritual, the first man is of the earth earthy, the second man is low from heaven. All right. So we're making a complete, all right, 180. All right, going back to the ways it was in the beginning. And we had everlasting life. Adam being a keeper of the garden. All right. Uh, above all of the trees in the field. With other nations, our right, sons of God was ruling, all right. And um, after we fell, they benefited from our fault, all right. They envied us, they had councils, and same thing happening today. But now, what you see is the most side, uh, what is get a precept in the book of Psalms 137. And this is what you see happening right now, all right. With the apostles, bishops, elders on down, brothers, and the safe and his truth, all right. We're getting in order. All right, uh, it's now Psalm 37. Let me see. Uh, where you at? Psalm 50. So like Psalm 50 and verse, let's get 20. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. They're going to Esau, the wicked. He's he's sitting and speaking against his brother, the Israelites. All right, because Jacob and Esau were brothers, twin brothers. All right. It says, thou slanderest thy own mother's son. Because he's a he's the slanderer, the false accuser, the devil, Diabolos. All right. Verse one, verse one, verse twenty-one. These things have thou done, and I kept silence. The Most High allowed it to happen. Why? Because we went off against them. So he let it happen. He brought the Edomites against the so-called white man today, some of the elites. Right. 
thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself. So they thought the most I was with them. Right? But watch this. But I will reprove thee. You're getting to these Edomites are getting corrected through the prophets. Wisdom Psalm the second chapter. We were made to reprove their thoughts. All right. And set them in order before thine eyes. So right now, Yahweh Bashim al Shah is setting us in order. All right. Raising up his men. All right. So the Israelite man, we back on top through Yahweh Shai, man. And it started right now with this gospel, us preaching this word. We're speaking into existence. All right. Let's get the book of Amos. Chapter 9 and verse 11. And it reads, In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. There be no more division or no more splits within the kingdom. All right. There be one kingdom. And that's in Ezekiel 37 chapter. Let me get that next as well. Right. And I will raise up his ruins. All right. Could be his ruin. All right. Desolate as a nation, a land laid desolate, heathens occupying the Genesis, not Genesis, um, Ezekiel 36 chapter. All right. Most, and also Joel, they parted our land, you know. Uh, Luke, the book of Luke, I believe it's the 21st chapter. You know what I'm saying? It's trodden down to the Gentiles. All right. But as a nation, we was ruined. All right. It says, and I'll build it as in the days of old. So right now, we're going to build it, the third temple, the Bayaf, the Tabernacle of David, the 140 star with 144,000. All right. The body of men, the most size is, is, is raising up in these last days. So the Israelite men will be back in their rightful position as kings and priests. Being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. That's what Yahweh Shai went on the cross for. He died for our sins as a nation to bring us back to the Father. All right. We be no more, you know, uh, strung out on drugs, crack, cocaine, weed, heroin, uh, opioids, meth. All right. We no more like drug dealers and pimps and, and gang bangers and crips and bloods and Latin, and Latin kings and patrias and all these different things. We no longer be none of those things. Okay. So from there, we're going to jump down to the book of, um, no, no. We're going to jump down to the book of uh, Revelation, right? Revelation chapter 11 in verse 11. And after three days and a half, all right, three days and a half, going to what, 350 years, from the time of 1619 to 1969, when the Mosai Yahweh Bashim al Shai raised up our elder, Rabbi Abba Bivens, being, if you can receive it in the spirit, John the Baptist, also known as Elijah the prophet, which is for to come, to bring the hearts of the children back to the fathers. All right, he fulfilled that, breaking off from the commandment keepers and, and started teaching out the New Testament as well and bringing out the 100% truth, the gospel, which more things was revealed on down the line through the men that he taught. All right, going to um, uh, High Priest Yaquab, all right, High Priest uh, Ariya, uh, King Masha, around on down to the rest of the men at that time. Then our, then our elders were still teach today Apostle Tahar, Apostle Kabar, Apostle Racha, Apostle Ramlab, the bishops of Connecticut kept, the, kept it going. Kept pushing through all uh, adversity and affliction for us younger brothers in this time to keep br um, bringing out the word. Scripture: What men have labored and we have entered into their labors. So that's why we give double honors to the apostles and elders. All right. So the Lord is raising up. He's the Spirit of Life has entered into us, man. It says, and they stood upon their feet in great fear fell upon them which saw them. So who's afraid? Our enemies. Why? Because they seen that great army. Let's get Ezekiel thirty-seven chapter now. All right. Look at Ezekiel 37. And it's spiritual too, because this wasn't the um the 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 angle I wanted to tackle this lesson. Alright. But this is this is how the spirit got, got it flowing. Ezekiel 37 in verse uh I'll start at verse one. And the hand of the Lord was was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of a valley which is full of bones. Alright. A bone is uh is something basically you got a living organism. That dies and decays, and the only thing left is his bones. All right, so meaning we was dead. A valley was full of bones, meaning something out that died. All right, and caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. So these bones are dry as a motherfucker, man. All right, who are these bones? The Israelites are gonna say it. And he said unto me, Son of man, can they, can these bones live? Now, can actual bones live? No, that I just I just broke it down. What a, what a, what a bone is. You know what I'm saying? A bone is uh, something from a, a living organism that died. All right. And the flesh decayed off of it. And the only thing that's left is his bones. And the bones decay over time as well. All right. It says, and I answered in the, the O oh Lord power, thou knowest it. Again, he said to me, prophesy upon these bones. So the prophets, that's what the most of the most of is raising up first and foremost is prophets. All right. Which are men. All right. You get that in the book of um, Jeremiah 29 verse 15. I raised up us prophets in Babylon. All right. And Babylon is also known as America. 
All right, if you could receive it, you know. And that's basically a biblical prophecy. The mystery Babylon and great, which I can break it down briefly. You got another word for Babylon, Marathion. The word, the root word for Marathion is Mer or Mar, which means bitter of a heartless end. America, you got the word Amer or Mar, you know, which literally means the same thing, a bitter, heartless end. And also the prophecy of the Israelites being brought to um, Babylon. Oh, both tribes being um, oppressed here in Babylon. That's going to the Northern Kingdom, Southern Kingdom, the, the, the Negro tribes and the Spanish tribes being oppressed together here in this landmass, America, uh, Babylon the Great. And also the Israelites are going to be brought from the land of the North, which is North America. All right, so we can break it down even further, but hey, let's read on. It says, Prophesy upon these bones, say unto them, O ye dry bones, say the word of the Lord. These thus save the Lord power unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter to you, and ye shall live. So the breath, you will cause breath to enter us, and we're gonna live, raise upon stand upon our feet. Because scripture say what? He that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So without understanding the wisdom and knowledge, we're spiritually dead. Alright, matter of fact, going back to the Revelation 11 chapter, I was reading right quick. Alright, Revelation eleven. And verse 8, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of that great city. All right. Also, Revelation 7 chapter goes to know that mystery battle grace that the mother of all is that great city. Where spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. All right. Sodom, because they allow a lot of different uh you know alphabet agendas here. All right, they legalize it, which is clearly abomination on the side of the most side. And Egypt meaning Egyptos meaning bondage or slavery. All right, we both have been to serve out uh, slavery. All right. All tribes. It says where also our Lord was crucified, meaning they asked out our Lord here. And they, play, they uh, put up Cesare Borgir, white supremacy. All right, that's ultimate Christianity is. Plantation Christianity is white supremacy. All right, that's how they asked out our, our Lord Yahushua. All right, they didn't teach the true gospel. They didn't teach the true doctrine. All right, what he taught. They taught a, all uni a, a universal concept of all-inclusiveness. All right, that's nowhere in the Holy Scriptures. That's not what the Lord Yahushua taught himself. He himself literally said the salvation of the Jews. Who are the Jews? The southern kingdom at that time. That was the majority of them in that land mass in Judea. All right. That's who salvation is for. The Israelites. All right. Remember, he used to have a, a, a flock that's not of this fold. Meanwhile, he's talking about the northern kingdom. All right. He had. That was already over here in the, in the Americas at that time. Fleeing from Assyrian captivity. All right. So let's go back to Ezekiel. All right. Reading on. So verse 6. And I will lay sinews upon you and I will bring flesh. Bring a flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I so I prophesied as I was commanded and, I, and as I prophesied, there was a noise and behold, a shaking and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, Lord, the sinews and the flesh came up upon him and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. So this during the time of Ad Abibivans. All right. Why? Because you had a lot of different movements going on in that time. All right. You had the different civil rights movements. A lot of it was funded by the, the Malachites. You had uh, the Nation of Islam with Malcolm X. You had the Martin Luther Kings, as I mentioned, the civil rights movement. You had the Marcus Garveys. You had the Black Panther movement, the Young Lords, which support the Ephraimites, Puerto Ricans, joining in with the Black Panthers. A lot of different movements of our people realizing a white man is a devil. We got to continue and, and, and invest in our own people, love our own people, take care of them, protect our own people, right? But there was no breath in them. They didn't have the Holy Spirit. They didn't have this truth that Elder Abba Bivens, you know, got, right? Verse 9. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy son of man, and say to the wind, thus saith the Lord power, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, come forth, come from the four winds, O breath, and breath breathe upon these slain that they may that they may live. So watch this. So I prophesied, and as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived. Now we're alive through the through the, the breath. Matter of fact, look at the priest upon the breath. Look at the book of John, chapter uh is it ten and twenty two? No, 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 it's 20, right? John chapter 20 and verse 22, right? I started verse 21. Then said Yahweh Shai, Lord and our Savior, to them again, peace be unto you as my father have sent me, even so I send you. And when he has said this, he breathed on them and said, I'm going receive you the Holy Spirit. All right, so that breath is the Holy Spirit, man. All right, so back to the 37, this point with getting this. Verse 10, so I prophesied as, as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. All right? So now that's the men. The Lord put us back in that position as being kings and priests, warriors, soldiers. We are an army with the most size, uh, uh, uh foot soldiers. Okay? We're on the earth. We have a, we have a, um, what's the word? An aerial uh, army as well. The chariots, the UFOs, the angels. 
All right, but we have we are to flip the platoon, so to speak, right? Verse 11. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. See that? It broke it down itself. Those bones are the Israelites, the so called blacks, and the Americans. Behold, they say, Our bones are dry and our hope is lost. We are cut off from, for our parts. So we was lost. Our hope is lost. We was cut off. But now the Lord is raising us back up. He's setting us in order before the eyes of our enemies, man. It's, that's in the Psalms 23rd chapter as well. Okay? Psalms 23, verse 1, a song of David, the Lord Yahweh Bashamal Shah is my shepherd, I shall not want. So Yahweh Bashamal Shah, he's our shepherd. All right. Let's get first Peter chapter 5 and verse 4. It says, And when the chief shepherd shall appear, which Yahweh Shai, you shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. All right. So going back, it says, Um, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures and lead me beside the still waters. He's constantly feeding us. We're constantly growing in this thing. All right, that's what that's what laying down beside green patients and, and still waters it helps you grow as a tree. All right, if you plant something there, it'll flourish and and you uh, scripture say what uh, bring forth fruit, meat for repentance. All right, so that's the the elect ultimately. Verse three, he restored my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. So we're being led to the paths of righteousness. Verse four, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death here in America, like Job said, let's get that precept. What Job said, right? Uh. Job is it 13? It's not Job 13. Um Job 32. Nope. Where you at? 20. If I can't find them, I'm just gonna type it in, right? Let's type in shadow death. It should pop up. Job 3. I had a feeling with Job 3. No, 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 it's not Job 3. It's not Job, it's Job 10, right? Job the 10th chapter, right? Job chapter 10 and verse 21. Before I go, whence I shall not return, even to the land of darkness, in the shadow of death, a land of darkness, as darkness itself, this is America. And of, and of a shadow of death without any order, there's no order here. All right, the Lord is setting us in order. And where the light is as darkness, and we that light, the children of the light, but we're looked at as dark, I mean evil. Things we're bringing out, okay? This truth is, is, is cutting the works of, of iniquity, all right? Evil doers. So Psalm 23 and verse 4, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they come for me. Rod is for correction, the staff for support, all right? This word, this gospel, it supports and corrects us. Verse 5, this is point one. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. So this is a banquet. Us bidding our people to the marriage, it's a, it's a, it's a ceremony, it's a, it's a feast. They were bidding our people to remember when a marriage took place it was a ceremony it was a feast that took place all right think about rachel and uh well jacob and leah all right because he got you know tricked to get leah first then rachel but in the event remember laban threw a whole feast for them all right so this is a feast that's being thrown for the lamb's wife which are the elect all right so the lord appearing the table god prepares the table for me in the presence of my enemy so this us teaching this truth all right is, is us preparing that table. It's the Most High doing it through his men. Thou anointed me, anointed my head with oil, oil is understanding. You get that in the book of Samuel. When Samuel anointed King David, it says the Spirit of the Lord came upon um, David from that day forward. And my cup brought him over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever, man. Okay? So what the Lord is doing right now is raising, that's what the scripture say, what? Unto you, O men, I call. All right, look at that precept in Proverbs, right? Proverbs chapter 16. In verse, uh, it's not Proverbs 16. Let me see. What is it at? Proverbs chapter 8 and 4. Salak, yeah, Proverbs 8 and 4. Unto you, O men, I call in my voice to the sons of men. So he's calling his men. He's getting his men together. He's setting us in order. All right. So the Israelite men will be back in their right position as kings and priests in the very near future. But it's starting with this truth spreading out. All right, and that's what Allah Yahusha did for the nation. I'm gonna get that relationship chapter as well, Lord, I don't forget it. All right, so we gotta continue teaching and bringing out this word. And brothers, you know, don't give a shiver. Oh, that's the angle that come from. And at first, was giving out that shiver to women, and you know, going to the scriptures. You know, of red, basically the, the the precepts and the scriptures, basically which is red pill, what they call red pill today. The Bible is full of it. I wasn't going to that angle, but the spirit had me. I was wrong with the spirit. I had no no precepts lined up really. You know, spirit having to go with this angle, man, how the Lord is raising us up. All right. And all it is, what you're seeing is future judges and kings, gods and priests on the earth. 
All right, the men with the long garments on, teaching the scriptures, looking, making themselves like a fool for your Hamashiach's sake. Those are the joint heirs. The Lord, Lord willing, we are the joint heirs. Okay, let's get that in the book of Romans. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna get one more. Then I'll probably be the lesson. You know, Lord willing, edifying, something quick, uplifting. Romans eight and verse uh, eight, uh, fifteen. For ye, ye had, for ye have not received the spirit of bondage against the fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption. Whereby we cry, Abba, Father, the spirit of self-bearing witness without spirit, that we are the children of the Most High. And if children, then heirs, heirs of Yahweh and joint heirs with the Mashiach. And it is written that all powers look at that precept, as a matter of fact. In Matthew chapter 28, I believe, in verse 18, And Yahweh shall came and speak unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. So he got all power, man. Allah Yahweh shall. So meditate upon that. And you're going to be his joint heir. So whatever he got, you got. That's John the 14th chapter. That where he is, we may we may be also. Romans 8, we have verse uh, 17 from the top. And if children was a word in the Hebrew for children's bonium was means sons, then heirs. So this started for the men first and foremost, man. You sisters got to take a back seat. All right, and be happy you could catch a rider in the bus. You know what I'm saying? And you just be quiet on that bus, man, and let us operate, man. All right. It says, then heirs, heirs of the most high and join heirs with Mashiach. If so be that thou, that we suffer with them. That we that we may be also glorified together, so we can be glorified with our Lord Yahweh Shah. That's what we're suffering on the side right now. All right. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Okay. Let's get a precept in First Peter. Let me get a few more. Right. Uh, First Peter two and nine, and it reads, "But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation." A peculiar people that you should shoot forth the praise of him who have called you out of darkness. So we've been called out of the darkness, right? Into his marvelous light, into the marvelous light of Yahweh, shall Lord and our Savior. Okay? It says, when, which in time past were not a people, the book of Hosea, but are now the people of the Most High, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Man, all praise Yahweh, Shem So let's end it off for Revelation, right? Revelation. Chapter 5. So the Israelite, man, we have a lot to look forward to, man. A lot to look forward to, man. Brothers, take it easy, man. All right? And keep pushing the word out, man. Don't force the course of the river. Everything will play out in due time. Revelation 5 and verse 5. Point 1 is verse 10. All right? So, matter of fact, I'm going to get straight to it. Verse 8, right? And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, Yahweh Shai, having every one of them harps and golden vows for the orders, which are the prayers of the saints, the prayers of the Israelites, Psalm, Psalm 148, verse 14. All right, the saints are the Israelites, Psalms 50 and verse 5. All right, he made a covenant with the Mosai, the saints, the Israelites. Verse 9, and they sung a new song. Man. So this truth is like a new song. All right, it's being rejuvenated, renewed, kainos, the Greek word for new, right? Saying thou worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou was slain. Hallelujah, Yahweh shall die for us. He was slain and has redeemed us, so he redeemed us. All right, tell Yahweh by thy blood out of every kindred. And we did this just during the time of the Roman Empire. All right, and we was already under oppression, all right, being subject to the Romans, the Edomites at that time. All right, yeah, we had certain, you know, we saw the priesthoods set up some degree that was going off. All right, yeah, some of the scribes, Pharisees that was righteous, but a lot of them was wicked. A lot of people was wicked. You know what I'm saying? But through Yahweh Shah's sacrifice, we're going to get it when he returns now. This is the second coming. We're going to be what? He, we're going to be redeemed back to the Father Yahweh through him. Right? So all praise go to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah in the name of Yahweh Shah, right? It says to us by. What's that For thou was slain and has redeemed us to Yahweh by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation and has made us unto our God kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth. So we got next to rule, man. We're going to rule on the planet Earth. We get Revelation chapter 1. No, chapter 2, as a matter of fact. No, verse 25. But that which you have already, hold fast till I come. So fast to this truth. This God's with that breath that, that was breathed upon us. All right? And he to overcome it, so we got to overcome this world. He did. He said, what? Be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. All right? And keep my works to the end. To him will I give power over the nation. We can get power over these nations. All right? So Israelite men, we back in a rightful position. Like Ezra said to the angel Uriel, Matter of fact, let's get the precept. I'm going to go back to, I'm in it for Revelation second chapter. Let's get the precept. The spirit is flowing, you know. This, this is how the spirit works. <clears throat> second edges, I believe it's the um, sixth chapter towards the end. Right? Verse 57. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, these other nations, have 
which have ever been reputed as nothing. They're nothing. They're extras in the movie. They're like spittle. Have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. So they lords, they reign over us and they devour us. The Babylonians, what the Assyrians, Babylonians, going back to the Egyptians as well, but Syrians, Babylonians, the Persian, and Medes, but they had a little mercy, all right? But they still was heathens, all right? Uh, uh, the Greeks, the Alexander was a little merciful, but for generals, a different story, especially going down the time during the line of Seleucid, on down Antioch's Epiphanes, man. They was pure evil towards us, man, all right? The Romans, we know how they got down towards us, the crucifixions and all of this, all right? On down, to the, the Roman Empire being five city, America. All right. It says, But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given to their hands. If the world now be made for our sakes, the whole world is made for our sakes, man. Why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long should this endure? So he was asking, How long? All right. How long? All right. I sort of another preset. Let me see if I can find it. Lord willing, I can find it. It's in Psalm somewhere. Is it Psalm 6? Yeah, Psalm 6 and verse 3. My soul is also sore vexed, but thou, O Lord, how long? Return, O Lord, deliver my soul. O save me for thy mercy's sake. You know, so our forefathers always ask, like, how long? Because what, brothers, this truth is mercy, and this truth, us declaring this gospel, is leading to this, man. Us being back in our rightful position. Let's end it off with Revelation second chapter now. Revelation two and verse we are twenty six. And he that overcometh and keepeth the my works until the end. So endure to the end, brothers. To him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with the rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. Even as I received them my father, and I'll give them the morning star. With the morning star going to also going to the new covenant, the new bodies. All right. He that hath the ear. Let him hear what the Spirit say to the churches, man. So if you have an ear to hear, hear what the Spirit is saying through this, you know, through the, uh, through the Spirit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the Israelite men will be back, you know, in their rightful position as kings and priests on earth, man. All right. We descend from kings and priests. So that's what the Lord is raising up his men as in the days of old, the tabernacle of David, the Bayah, the Abu man. So Lord willing, Adoram Tazah, Yahweh Ratazah, we have that number of the elect, 144,000, and we make it in these last days. So brothers and doors. So with that, Lord willing is edifying, uplifting to the, you know, to the body. You know, starting with the men first and foremost, you sit out there, just you know, take a back seat and be humble, meek, and quiet, man. All right, and it's in the rehearse righteous acts best you can, and, and you know, and uh, being a weaker vessel. But with that, let's give all honor, glory, and infinite praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachak, Kudash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth, innocent and serious. I'm saying, Shalom, Shalom.